system. Now, the Sixth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution guarantees defendants the right to a speedy and public trial. But in many cases, victims' families are the ones stuck waiting. We've talked about this case backlog before. In North Carolina, many were put on hold during the height of the pandemic. Same true for South Carolina. But there's one big difference here. Courts were backlogged before the pandemic due to a long-running argument over who controls the court calendar. Some change came earlier this year. In May, the South Carolina Supreme Court issued an order that established rules to try and help move things along. But a Charleston County mother still waiting for the man accused of killing her son over three years ago to face a judge. Here's her story. It was like 320 on a Sunday morning. He had just gotten this motorcycle. Nobody even knew until 7.30, almost 7.30 Sunday night that this had happened. Jackie Britt's son, Lance Davis, and his girlfriend, Brittany Reeves, were killed in a hit and run on I-26 in September of 2020. He was my whole heart, and he was spoiled. More than three years later, Britt is still waiting for justice, while Dion Gibson, the man police say killed her son, is out of jail with an ankle monitor. I know that he's out walking around doing whatever he wants to do, and my son's in the graveyard. Gibson is charged with reckless homicide. If you commit a crime in South Carolina, get a lawyer that is also in the legislature, and you can run free for four or five years and not worry about going to jail. Gibson's lawyer is Charleston County State Representative Leon Stravanicus. He refused to go on camera, but sent a statement saying, quote, there have been several hearings in this case, including during the period of my legislative service. And I do not control the trial docket either as a defense lawyer or as a legislator. There are over 750 cases ahead of Mr. Gibson's case on the trial roster. The wait time for trial is still three to four years. This backlog is not new. Ali McGankis is a criminal defense lawyer and an advocate for judicial reform. She says speeding things up is unlikely. Does a defendant in this state really have a right to a speedy trial? I would say that we don't have a speedy trial that right that actually works. South Carolina is one of a few states without a law or judicial rule that defines the maximum amount of time a person can be charged with a crime without going to trial before the case is thrown out. I'd be dead before I go to court. As for Gibson's case, we are waiting to learn when it could be put back on the trial docket.